First one goes to Jason Lures, uh, first, and then to Dan Wyatt and Roger Hartman. The question is, one of the key attributes of a sheriff is responding calmly and professionally to emergency situations. Tell us about an experience of yours that would show how you would react in a crisis. Jason Lures. Thank you for the question. Uh, as law enforcement officers, we're called upon to respond to a variety of different situations. Uh, here at the police department, we respond to medical calls on a routine basis. Now, I can't think of anything more stressful than going to a medical call where you have a spouse or family members who are worried about a loved one who's lying on the floor suffering a heart attack or some kind of respiratory emergency. Uh, I've had countless uh, opportunities to respond to medical calls and uh, was recognized uh, by the Red Cross uh, with the Life Saving Award here recently. Um, you know, your first priority is obviously for the welfare of the medical patient on the floor. You need to be working on them, but at the same time, a lot of times you're only called by yourself, especially at night. You need to try to keep the family calm and try to uh, give them duties to do so they can concentrate on that rather than what's going on with their loved one. Um, so that's an example of, of some of the things that I do. There's also, you know, we respond to domestic violence situations. Uh, we're kind of jacks of all trades out there, so thank you. Thank you, Jason. Next up is Dan Wyatt. As a police officer, as a law enforcement officer, we face many myriads of things out there in day to day. I would, uh, if I was to point to one thing where you had to decide something and stick with it and go with it, a few years back we had an individual over in Wentworth doused down inside of the garage himself in the yard with gasoline. He held a lighter in this hand and can of Zippo lighter fluid in the other, and he was threatening to burn himself in the yard of the house up. Uh, I was able to talk him down through conversation and relieve the situation. There's other times when you go to accident scenes where you have somebody hurt, and you have to step in and just make everything work better. And that, I'm good at that. I'm good at facilitating things and making things work better. One of the worst things that we have to do in our profession is to notify a parent when they have the death of a loved one. Um, and we've done that all, all three of us here have done that. Um, thank you. Thank you, Dan. Next up is Sheriff Roger Hartman. As Jason and Dan have stated, you know, during your time as a law enforcement officer, there's many things you see and you have to do. And uh, one thing that sticks out in my mind is a uh, a vehicle accident happened a few, probably about 10 or 12 years ago, more than longer than that, 15 years ago, south of town here. It was on a Sunday morning. Um, you had a family coming back from church, and you had three children in a car that were that were dead. And you have a parent that's strapped in a car with those, with those children, or close to them. You go ahead and do what you have to do. And then uh, you go home, give your children a hug, and then go someplace private and shed a few tears yourself. But there's all, there's every spectrum of law enforcement is, is uh, sometimes taxing, other times it's very rewarding, and that's one reason I got into this business. Thank you. Thank you. 